Hey guys, Mr. Jim here. Hey, we got a few easy jobs today. Real simple. Uh, we got gave, uh, gave Stan the van, Stan the man the van. So he's got his own vehicle now, which is with Warren Construction, which is just a great, great move forward for our company. <coughs> Very excited for that. You know our our future vision of Warren Construction includes vehicles for all of our employees. We're not there yet, so this is just our this is our um, first you know real big start moving forward with that, and real excited for it. So I'm uh, I'm getting another van next week and looking into getting a truck right now. Today I'm using Holly's car. You know, I'm humbly using Holly's car to get around because we have to decide what the next plan is, what the next move is. And this is a good way to get around it, do it. So it'll be a fun day in and out of this. <laughs> nice SUV though, know, Dodge Journey. So it'll be good. We'll, uh, we'll be in a new van next week and all good. Happy to do it. You know, I've found, and this is a good life lesson too, like, I have found that sometimes you don't move until you're forced to move. So that's why I make crazy, risky decisions like this, like getting rid of the van that I need. Because I know I could stay in that van comfortably and we can keep moving the way we're moving. But now that I, I have no, I really have no vehicle, it forces me to think outside the box and figure things out that I would not have otherwise figured out. And I know things will work. It's it's a leap of faith, really. And it's the best way to live, really. You know, just, just take the leap of faith. God's got it. Whatever you want to call it. God, universe. I, I don't know. It, we're good. Like, we're going to make it. One thing I know in life is my dreams have always slowly but surely come true. And things have always always worked out for me and I don't know how sometimes you know other than something way beyond me what's happening <laughs> you know so this is great I've got into the habit of recording that's good now I gotta get into a new habit actually recording the stuff I do instead of just talking when I'm in the car <laughs> I don't know it's a habit thing, so at least I'm doing one thing. I get the phone out, I record. I gotta start telling myself, record, record. There's all kinds of stuff that happens that would be interesting if it was recorded, but whatever. So we'll get it. Um, having a great day, though. Uh, there's a house I'm jacking up, lifting up the first or the second floor a little, it's sunk some. So we're jacking from the basement and got that up a little today. Did, got it up like an eighth inch. It's gonna take two more months to get it all the way up. We gotta go up a full inch from when we started. I think we're only up just over a quarter inch. We didn't get up much. Matter of fact, we got up a quarter inch in the basement. It only came up just over an eighth inch on the second floor. <laughs> That's It's been sitting there for a while. There's gravity, compression, like, you know, the roof is weighing down in on the wall. <coughs> so uh, everything has just been solid there for so long. It took, it took decades for it to settle down. Well, Actually, they, they say it probably only settled in seven years since the tile was put there, which may be the case, but, you know, seven years, I don't know, that might take seven months to get it back, back where we want it. Uh, I don't have any cracking going on in the walls. Looks like the cracking that's in the walls is what was still there originally. So, we're all good there. Um, what else? Well, we finished that up today. We just did a little clock job. It was a shower that I did. I clocked. Some of the some of the clock failed. 
silicone and so some water got behind the tub surround and it got into um, kind of went behind it behind the shower door and out into the drywall so it uh, some of the drywall kind of and paint kind of flaked off so did a repair on that filled in with a little spackle uh, the homeowner loves to do his own paint, so he's going to take care of that. Did scraped out the silicone, put some more in, and we'll see. We'll keep we'll keep an eye on it over the next few weeks. Check it out. Now we're going to just do a quick measure on some rotten boards, and then another customer that I have, I installed gas lines for his propane appliances in a in a uh, a food trailer. This is a pretty neat job. Never did anything on a food trailer before, so I appreciate the opportunity to be able to do something new. That was fun. We've got those gas lines in there, and when we were using the the 20 pound cylinder, everything was working fine. He says he switched over to the 100 pound cylinder, and not so much, not working. So I don't know. I don't know if it even has anything to do with anything I did I don't know I'm gonna go look you know if it's something I did I warranty all my stuff I take care of it if it's not you know I have to charge them for going out and troubleshooting so anyway you know I hope it you know I hope I can figure it out for them either way so get out there do these few things and then I just gotta put a piece of trim up on a job we were doing yesterday That'll be it for the day. Awesome. Well, except back to the office for paperwork. <laughs> Not a problem. I enjoy it.